You see, the thing about Croatia is everywhere you look, it's beautiful. Like, none of it looks bad. Kebab wrap, it's like a freaking burrito. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, so we woke up uh, actually pretty early this morning. We went out and got some breakfast and then just went back to the room and hung out for a little bit. But now the sun has come out and it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. So right now we are headed to get on the walls and we're gonna walk the walls of Old Town Dubrovnik. It's definitely one of the most fun and popular things to do here in Dubrovnik. So we're pretty excited. When you're in Old Town, you're definitely like down I don't know, kind of, it's so it's so hard to see up out it's anywhere. It's kind of like a big bowl. <laughs> yeah. around the whole city. We've been up here for probably about 45 minutes or so. We're on like the ocean side of it right now and it is just amazing. The size of these walls just built off of the cliffs coming out of the water and then these super tall walls, breathtaking. It's really cool and the water is so clear. You can just like look down and see way down into the water. It's amazing. And actually right below us is Booza Bar in the spot where we went and hung out and uh, swam and jumped a little bit yesterday. halfway around the the walls of wow that just got really echoey right here <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we are about halfway around the walls of old town it is just wildly impressive the way these are built the fact that they've been standing for so long the scale of them and then also the views are incredible just all the way around between the city and the ocean and the mountains behind us yeah, it's awesome good. 10 out of 10 would recommend walking the walls of old town dubrovnik Probably one of the craziest things about the walls of Dubrovnik is they still have these cannons to defend the city in case of siege. Yeah. And they still work. Yeah. yeah. Totally. <laughs> still the most effective way to protect a city. I mean, a fortress. From an invading enemy via sea. 100%. So we are just about to complete the full loop of the walls. I think it is about, it's almost a mile and a half all the way in a, around. So we've been up here for a while. Uh, it's starting to get kind of hot, but it is a beautiful day. Yeah, we're gonna go down, get something to drink, get some food, and then maybe find a beach somewhere. If you ever come to Dubrovnik, go to Old Town and walk the walls because it is awesome. Ham and cheese, looks really good. It's good, it's really good. We just got some delicious pizza for lunch, but now we are outside of the walls. We are headed to a little swimming spot that we actually found last night. So we're gonna go hang out, swim, relax for a little while.
had an awesome day walking the walls and then just hanging out at some cool swim spots. Now we are about to head out and find some dinner. And then I think we're just gonna go outside of Old Town and explore a little bit and see if we can find a cool spot to watch the sunset. So one thing that I have realized that I love about Old Town Dubrovnik is no cars. There's, uh, there's yeah. not a single vehicle in here. It's like I knew it when we came in that like you're, you can't yeah, take any vehicles in here, but I didn't realize how nice it would be until we have spent some a couple days in here and it's just like, it's awesome not having to worry about any vehicles and just walking everywhere. Um, we're at this place called Takeaway Dubrovnik and it's like these big wraps. I got a kebab wrap, like a freaking burrito. <laughs> and Colton got a um, chicken wrap and we got some fries. And it's like one of the cheapest things you can find in Old Town, so, but it looks great. wandered outside of Old Town and now we're trying to go inside the fort out here. What's it called, babe? Fort, something with an L. Our tickets to the walls might get us in, but it closes very soon, so we're gonna try. See what happens. It worked. We made it in. Apparently the tickets to the wall also get you into the fort. Yeah. But we've only got 10 minutes left to explore play. this place. I think there's a little more to it than we can do in 10 minutes, but we're gonna be quick and we're gonna try. I guess if you're uh, the lookout, this is where you look out from. Makes sense. <laughs> you see, the thing about Croatia is everywhere you look, it's beautiful. Like, none of it looks bad. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. Well, the sun is setting and we're sitting here watching it set on the walls of Dubrovnik. It's so pretty and it's been really good actually getting out of Old Town and seeing Old Town from a different perspective. And there's just a lot of beauty out here as well. So especially this little bay and there's like really cute little beaches and stuff. It's really, it's Restaurants really Restaurants up above the water. And yeah, it's awesome. And yeah. the fort was beautiful really good spot to watch the sun go down. You can't stay till sunset. It's been a good day. We swam in the water and we ate good food and now we're gonna just chill for the rest of the night. Maybe get some gelato. We're gonna get some gelato later, <laughs> for sure. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> this is where we're sitting, this view is so nice. Tomorrow is our last day in Dubrovnik. We are heading up the coast to Trozier, a town just a little bit north of Split, Croatia. And we're actually gonna meet up with some of our best friends from college there who now live in Europe and they're gonna meet us there. So, so excited. We're, we're really excited for that. So leaving Dubrovnik, but we're gonna stay in Croatia for a while longer. Anyways. Yum.